What's up y'all and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be playing with the new Peach Perfect palette from Gourmand Girls. Now this was sent to me from the brand. I actually won it in a giveaway over on Instagram. So this video is not sponsored. There's no obligation to post, nothing like that. And truthfully, I would have purchased it anyway, even if they hadn't sent it to me because I really do enjoy the brand. They have a really good formula. Their shimmers are really nice. Their last palette that they launched in collaboration with Steph's Beauty Stash, the Nueva Vita palette, ranked really high in my mid-year eyeshadow palette ranking. If you missed it, it will be linked down below in the description box, but this palette does retail for $55.99. It is currently available on the website, and she is beautiful. The color story on the inside matches the packaging perfectly, so you can already imagine if you haven't seen it, but let's talk about the artwork really quick because it is absolutely stunning. This is created by Doodles by the Bunny over on Instagram. She is an artist, and she is so, so talented. She has done a lot of the artwork for gourmand girls in the past but look at this stunning color story like it's a peach palette but it's not a monochromatic peach palette and i absolutely love that we have the greens we have the browns we have this absolutely gorgeous like brown purple shimmer over here I'm excited with this one. I cannot wait to play with it. It will be linked down below in the description box as well as everything else that is on my face and everything else that we use in this video. So per usual, if you're ever curious about anything, always check the description box. I squeeze as much information as I possibly can into that tiny little space, but we're gonna create two looks with this palette. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my hair out of my face, zoom y'all in just a little bit, and we're gonna get started. All right, let's go ahead and jump into our first look. My eyes are primed and ready to go. I did prime them with my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly per usual, but I think for the first look, I wanna do something very peach heavy, kind of an ode to the palette theme here. So we're gonna play with probably this shade, this one, maybe a little bit of this one. I really wanna put this like all over the lid, maybe on the inner corner. I don't know yet, but we're gonna start with this shade up here. This one is called Peach Perfect, hello. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up with a Morphe M504 brush. And I'm just gonna fluff that into my crease you know the drill if you've been here start to build up the depth the shape and just give me a good solid transition and look at that shade very very pretty it is a light wash of color obviously if you have a different skin tone than I do it's gonna show up differently but look how beautiful and effortless no problems, no patching, no skipping, no fallout. There is very very minimal kick up in the palette not a whole lot at all so moving on to the outer corner, I wanna go in with this shade right here. This is called Peach and Quiet, absolutely adorable. I'm gonna pick that up with a Sigma E54 brush, and I'm just gonna put this into like the outer half of my lid, bringing it up into my crease. And I'm gonna pat it first, and then I will go back and kind of fluff along the edges to make sure that we don't have any harsh lines, but I really wanna pack this color on and get the best payoff that I can. But look how pretty that is. Oh, I love a peach eyeshadow. They are so pretty. I'm gonna take that same shade down onto my lower lash line, and I'm gonna bring it about halfway across. So not all the way, I'm just gonna kind of meet it up with what's going on on my lid. Oh, that's so pretty. I am getting a little bit of fallout right here, but let me grab a clean brush. It should just, yeah, just fluffs away. No big deal. I want to add a little bit of this brown shade right here to my inner corner. This one is called I'm Peachless. So I'm going to pick that up with a Singe Beauty EO5 brush. And I'm just going to build up a little bit of depth and definition. I don't want this to take over, but I want a little bit of contrast out here. Yeah, that looks good. All right, let's go ahead and put something on this lid. So I really wanna play with this shade up here, but this one's also calling my name as well. So I think what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go in with this shade, which is called Papa Don't Peach. And then we're gonna take this one up here, which is called Peachy Keen, and we're gonna put that one on my inner corner. So I've already gone in and primed my eyes with my NYX Glitter Primer per usual. I use that for every single shimmer ever. And oh my gosh, this is Papa Don't Peach. Look at how gorgeous that is. That is a absolutely beautiful multi-chrome. Oh, I am here for it. 
Look at how beautiful. Very smooth, very metallic, reflective. I'm not getting any fallout. It's not gathering. It's not accentuating texture on my lids. And usually I don't get any creasing with Gourmand Girl shadows. So we like that. But that is, that's beautiful. I want to wear this look all day. Okay, so I picked up the shade Peachy Keen on a Singe Beauty E01 brush. I am going to spray it with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus. And we're going to pop this right here into the inner corner. But I'm also going to kind of wrap it onto my lower lash line and meet it over to where that, um, that first shade is that we put down. That's very pretty. I'm loving the way this is coming out. And that's gonna complete our first look with the palette. I'm really liking this look. I'm loving the peach, I'm loving the vibrancy. That multi-chrome on the lid is absolutely beautiful. But to finish off this look, I did go in with a ColourPop cream gel liner in the shade Peach Fuzz. How fitting is it for this look? And then for the lid, I went in with my um, Lancome Edul Ultra Precise Waterproof Liner. This is in the shade Matte Maple Syrup, so it's a brown one. And then my YSL Lash Clash Mascara in the brown shade as well. And I really like the way this turned out more than I thought I was going to, but let's go ahead and move on to our second look. So for this one, I want to play with these greens. This shade right here is calling my name. I want to put that on the inner corner. And so kind of what I'm thinking is maybe doing this on the inner corner, some greens out here. I'm kind of thinking this one too, like maybe a little bit of grunge, deepen everything up with this. And then maybe like one of these really pretty shimmers on the lower lash line. I think that's what we're gonna do. But I'm gonna go ahead and start with this shade right here, which is called Peach Please. Love it so, so much. I'm going to pick that up. Which brush do I wanna use? I wanna use this brush. With a Singe Beauty EO2 brush. And I am going to just pop this into my inner corner and start to wrap it around into like the crease of my eye. Look at how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. I am getting a lot of kick up in the pan with this palette and I am getting a little bit of fallout. I haven't had any of the fallout stick to my under eyes. They are powdered. I always powder my under eye when I'm playing with colorful makeup. So it's not gonna be an issue if you do your eyes first and then go back and do your base. But if you're like me and you do your base and then your eyes, just be aware there is fallout. But like I said, for me, it's not sticking. It's not making a big mess. So I can deal with it. Not my favorite, but you know, sometimes it is what it is. That's pretty. Okay, so next I'm gonna go into this shade right here. This one is called Life's a Peach. And I'm gonna go in with the same brush. I just wiped it off on my Sigma Switch. And I'm going to continue to fluff that the rest of the way over into my crease and bring it all the way out here. So just kind of like a smooth transition between everything. Yeah, that's pretty. All right, let's go ahead and add some depth. So I wanna play with this shade right here. This one is called One A Peach Of Me and it's almost like a really deep teal shade. It's not quite as green as this one. It's got a little bit more of a blue undertone to it, but we're gonna put that in the outer corner and build up a little bit of depth. So I'm gonna go in with a Morphe M506 brush, very carefully tap off that excess and I'm just gonna kind of tap it right here. And then after I've built up what I want, I'm gonna go back and fluff everything together to make sure that it's blended perfectly. So I'm just taking that first brush that we use with those first shades and I am very, very lightly going along the edges and just making sure that everything is blended. We don't have any harsh lines. There's nothing crazy going on. Okay, let's go ahead and do this lower waterline. I really want to put this on my lower waterline. The shade is beautiful. I think it kind of stands out from the palette and we're gonna have a sparkly waterline. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to prime my entire lower waterline with my NYX glitter primer. So let me show you how I do that in case you've never done it before or anything like that. So there's no questions. I'm gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand just like that. And I'm gonna go in with a Singe Beauty EO7. You can do any flat brush that you want. This one was just right here. And so I'm gonna pick it up kind of on the tip of my brush and I'm just basically gonna tight line with the primer. And then I will have a nice sticky base for that shimmer on my lower waterline. 
All right, so I'm gonna take a Game Beauty EO8 brush. I'm gonna go into that shimmer that we talked about. It is called You're a Peach. And I'm just gonna pick it up, kind of pack it on my brush. And I'm gonna go in and pat it along my lower waterline. I'm not gonna swipe or anything like that. I don't want to make a big mess. All right, I'm loving that shimmer on the lower lash line, but let's go ahead and do the lid. So for this one, I wanna do a combination of these two shades right here. So I'm gonna start with this one, which is called Fuzzball. It is a darker shimmer. Oh my gosh, like look at how gorgeous that is. I'm gonna pop this all over the lid. I'm gonna keep it more so like to about there and then on this portion right here we're going to put that other one i am going to leave the inner corner matte but look at how gorgeous that is oh my gosh you could do the most beautiful smoky eye with this shimmer Alright, so I picked up that lighter green shimmer on my Singe Beauty EO1 brush. That one is called Georgia Peach. And I am going to press this right here on my lid where I didn't put that other one. And then I'm going to kind of smudge them together where they meet. So we have a nice, pretty kind of gradient going on, I'm hoping. And there we have it, two completed looks with this palette. I love the way this one turned out as well. That matte green on the inner corner is beautiful and I'm loving the pop of like colorful shimmer on the lower waterline. It's subtle, but it's there. It adds like the perfect amount of color to this look and I think it's beautiful. I still think this one is my favorite. I'm loving the shimmer on this lid. That's what does it for this look. But to finish off the second one, I did go in with a Charlotte Tilbury Walk of No Shame liner, and then I just threw some mascara on. I went in with my Maybelline Firework Waterproof Mascara. I didn't think it needed a liquid liner. I felt like I kind of liked it the way that it was, and a liner would kind of get a little bit lost on my lid. But both looks are beautiful. I'm absolutely loving it. But let's go ahead and zoom out and chat about this palette. All right, y'all, so first of all, packaging, 10 out of 10. Doodles by the Bunny nailed it. She always does. She is so incredibly talented. But what I really love is that the packaging actually matches the color story on the inside of the palette. But if you didn't know, Peach Fuzz is the Pantone color story for the year of 2024. So very on theme, perfect timing. We love to see it. But the color story on the inside, I do think is very beautiful. It is unique to the brand. It is unique to my collection. I feel like we don't really see some of these tones like very often, especially like this one and this one, these more kind of like grayed out greens. I do think they are very, very beautiful. The matte formula in here is really, really nice, but like I told y'all, there is going to be fallout. It didn't bother me, it fluffed away, it didn't leave any staining behind, but if that is something that you cannot stand and is going to bother you, stay away from this palette because you're absolutely going to get that. But other than that, I didn't have any issues with the mattes. They didn't patch, they didn't skip, I didn't get anything weird going on. They built up on each other nicely, and the shimmers in here are beautiful as well. We've got some shifty shades, they are smooth, they don't emphasize texture on the lid. My only little nitpicky qualm with this palette is I wish that we had more of a variety of lighter shimmers in this palette. I do love a matte heavy palette, but I feel like we maybe could have like switched this one out and gotten like one more shimmer something a little bit lighter because in my makeup preferences I prefer something lighter on the lid for a shimmer than dark while this is very beautiful and I like it this is my comfort zone and what I prefer so that's just me being nitpicky but overall I think it's a really pretty palette I do really enjoy it I hate that we got fallout but it is what it is performance wise it still worked really really well but that's going to complete this video y'all I hope you enjoyed it I hope this was very helpful let me know which of these two looks was your favorite if you picked up this palette if not is it on your wish list and which palette from gourmand girls is your absolute favorite i love to hear it let's light it up have that conversation down below and as usual i want to thank you all so so much for watching my video and spending your time with me it truly does mean so much to me and if you like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up before you leave don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on that notification bell so that you can be notified of all my future posts here on my channel i do post quite a few videos every single week and i wouldn't want you to miss one but until my next video have a good one. Bye.